Okay, in today's video, we're going to go over how to use Newton's second law to calculate the acceleration of an object that's moving in a horizontal direction, and it's moving across a surface upon which there is no friction. All right, so here is our first problem. We have a rightward force applied to a rightward force of five newtons applied to a six kilogram object. It's moving across a smooth surface. I have written down here that the coefficient of friction is zero, just for emphasis, which means there's no friction. We're going to draw, label the forces, calculate the magnitude of the forces, and then calculate the acceleration of the object. Okay, we're going to use Newton's second law, which says that the sum of the forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration, or the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And um, the first one we're going to draw is the force of gravity. We'll assume that all these objects are near the surface of the Earth, and therefore there is the gravitational force. The gravitational force points downwards. We label that Fg. Now it's moving across the surface. It's not moving down the surface or through the surface or upwards. So we can assume we have a normal force. The normal force is the force from the surface acted upon the object, and that is going to be acting in the opposite direction, and we label that Fn. All right, and then it says there's a rightward force, so we're going to draw in the rightward force. We're going to label that as our applied force, and those are the three forces that we're going to have in this case. Okay, there's no friction, so there's no force opposite the applied force that would be friction if there was, but there is no friction. So there's only three forces. A lot of people think sometimes, well, there's a rightward force, there has to be a leftward force, but there does not, in this case, there is not. Okay, now we're going to calculate the magnitude of all the forces and then we'll sum them up and calculate the acceleration. To calculate the, uh, the gravitational force, we're going to use a special form of Newton's second law, which is basically, we have uh, zero um, friction, which is the gravitational force is equal to mg. mg, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and whenever we calculate gravity, we use g for the acceleration. It's a special type of acceleration. It's the acceleration due to gravity. And all we do is we take the mass of the object, and as long as we're on Earth, near the surface, the acceleration due to gravity is going to be 9.8. And we take the mass, multiply it by 9.8, and therefore we get that the gravitational force is 58.8 newtons. All right? So then we can write that down, and we're going to put a negative since it's pointing downwards. We'll say that down is the negative direction. Now, once again, there is the gravitational force, and the object is not moving up or down, so therefore the normal force, the force by the surface, on the object must be equal and opposite, so we're going to put down and we're going to assume that the normal force is plus 58.8 newtons. It's in the upwards direction, so we'll call that the positive direction. Okay, so we calculated those two forces, or we calculated the gravitational force, then we can get the normal force from the gravitational force, and then the last force is the applied force, which is just plus 5 newtons, because we'll say to the right is plus or positive in this case. Okay, so now we have all the forces, and now we can use Newton's second law. We're going to rearrange it so we get that the acceleration is equal to the sum of the forces over the mass. Now we have to kind of think about the fact that this object is not moving up or down. It's only accelerating in the horizontal direction, in the x on the x-axis. So therefore, um, we're not going to sum up these two forces the uh, normal force and the gravitational force, we're just going to be concerned with motion in the x direction, and the only force that acts in the x direction is therefore the applied force. All right, And you can see that anyway, these two cancel each other out. Plus 58.8, minus 58.8, and they would cancel each other out. Okay, So we're calculating the acceleration in the x direction. The only force that we have is the 5 newtons, and the mass of the object is 6 kilograms. We divide those two, and we get that the acceleration is 0 0.83 meters per second squared. Meters per second squared is the units for acceleration, and if you know a newton is a kilogram times a meter per second squared, on the bottom we have just a kilogram. The kilogram cancels with the kilogram inside the newton, and we're left with meters per second squared. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Sum the forces up, and you will come up with the acceleration. Okay, let's try one more. Similar case, no friction, 11 Newton applied for it. This time we'll just make it to the left. The mass of the object is 9 kilograms, and we're going to draw all the forces, and we're going to calculate the acceleration. Okay, so once again, we're going to use Newton's second law. So we want to sum up, we want to draw all the forces. I think it's good to draw them all. This is the gravitational force. This is the normal force. The applied force is going to be to the left. So we draw that, and we call that Fa. And now we can calculate those. I think we're going to put down again that the coefficient of friction is 0. 
and now we can calculate the gravitational force. Once again, gravity is calculated with m, the mass of the object, times g, which is the acceleration due to gravity, which on Earth, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And we get 107.8 newtons. We're going to put minus, because it's in the minus direction. The object is moving to the left. It's not moving up or down. So therefore, the normal force has to be equal but opposite. And that means that that's plus 107. And in, in the problem, it tells us that the applied force is 11 newtons. And it's pointing to the left, so we're going to put down minus 11 newtons. All right, so we're going to use Newton's second law. We're going to solve for acceleration. Some of the forces divided by the mass. The only force that's relevant is the applied force. The normal force and the gravitational force would cancel each other out. We're not moving up and down. We're moving to the left. And the only force to the left is, or in the horizontal direction, in the y x direction is minus 11. So we put down that the acceleration is minus 11 newtons divided by 9 kilograms. And we get that the acceleration is minus 1.22 meters per second squared. The minus sign in this case does not say necessarily that it's speeding up or slowing down. It just tells us that the acceleration is in the negative direction. It just so happens that the velocity is also in the negative direction. And if the acceleration and the velocity are in the same direction, then that means that it is, in this case, speeding up. OK, so that's all there is to it. I think it's a good idea to get used to drawing the object, draw the forces in, label the forces, calculate all the forces, get all that book work done, and then solve the problem using Newton's second law. Okay, thank you very much. I hope that was helpful. If you thought that was helpful, you could leave me a comment or a thumbs up below in the comment section. Okay, thank you very much. We will see you next time.